Well, we're in the cooking corner now with Lauren from Edible Tulsa Magazine to show us how to make kale Brussels sprout salad. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. So this is, sounds really good because kale and Brussels sprouts alone, I know for me, raw, I, I can't really handle it. I have to have other things. <laughs> yeah, well, this it. is perfect. And a salad's perfect for that because you can really um, make it, create it to your liking. So if you, yes. something doesn't sound good here, you know, don't add it. Um, yeah, absolutely. So first we're going to start out. So this salad um, has shredded kale and shredded Brussels sprouts, both raw. So you can buy your Brussels sprouts whole and then shred them. If you have a food processor, there's a shredding attachment that you can do and that's really simple. Or most grocery stores now have them shredded and you can buy them in a bag like you can buy spinach in a bag. So Perfect. that's really easy. So, um, and with kale, some people get intimidated by cutting kale. This is really easy. You just wash your kale. You always want to take the stems off because the stems are pretty fibrous. So I just hold the ends and pull it off like that. So you don't have to use a knife. Um, That's perfect. That's take so easy. Very quick and easy. And then I just kind of roll it up. Just like cutting sushi. Yeah. And then Here chop, we go. chop, chop, <laughs> chop, chop, like that. And you get the little ribbons and that's all in there. Perfect. And then I make a dressing, just a simple dressing and you can keep this in your fridge. So this is how I make all of my dressings. I started out with three cloves of garlic and here's the juice of one lemon and some red wine vinegar. Boy, this is looking really good. I'm getting into the kale <laughs> and Brussels it. sprout mood now, mood We're, as I'm seeing this, yeah. And then half a cup of olive oil. And then just a um, little bit of salt and pepper. So just kind of add that in there, however much you like. A little bit of pepper. And then I always, so this is how I do my dressings. I put them in um, a container that has a top and then I just shake them. You don't have to whisk or do anything fancy. Um, just shake it up like that. And I usually never use all the dressing that I make for one salad, so then I can just store the rest of it in the fridge, and this will last in your fridge for a long time. And it's such a simple dressing, it's good on lots of different kinds of salads. Looks like you just bought it at the store. It turned it into this nice yellow color. And it's Perfect. pretty much stuff you'd always have at home. So you add the, the Brussels sprouts to the kale. Okay. And then I just spoon over some dressing. Like I said, I don't ever use really all of it, so just kind of eyeball it. You're good. For this, there's quite a bit in there, so you do want to add. And this a dressing good amount, is good on other things too, on other of course. Things, spinach and um, any other kind of salad that you, you know, really whatever you have in your fridge, you can kind of throw together. So you just sort of toss that together, coat the dressing. Smells and then you're gonna great, add, by the way. It smells fantastic. Pomegranate seeds on top. And then we're gonna do one avocado. We're gonna see how fast she can do an <laughs> avocado here. This do is avocado. pretty quick. She's going. So I love this method. Yeah, you, you slice it inside. Yep, the and skin then just of the avocado. Spoon it out. Perfect. And you can do the other side, and then some pecans on top, and then just shave the parmesan with a vegetable peeler on top like that, and we're done. A very, <laughs> very hearty salad. Look at all this. We've got a kale Brussels sprout salad for you right here. Newsonsix.com/slash/recipe.